Before just buying something, do you like to comparison shop a bit to make sure you're spending your money wisely? I know I do. So why don't we do this with our healthcare services and procedures? After all, the cost of a CT scan can range from a few hundred dollars to thousands. And I don't know about you, but I'm not exactly trying to buy the Bugatti of CT scans. Now we don't comparison shop for these things because it's very difficult to do. But the times, they are changing. Healthcare has finally caught up with, well, everything else. And with new pricing transparency regulations starting in 2021, you'll finally be able to compare the cost of hospital procedures ahead of time instead of getting gobsmacked on a perfectly good Tuesday when your final bill arrives. Using an online tool, you'll be able to create your own estimates at different institutions so you can make an informed decision. But before you can create an estimate, you need to gather three pieces of information. One, the name of all the procedures involved. Two, the CPT codes for these procedures, and this can be obtained by the referring physician. And three, your insurance information, unless you want to look at self-pay costs. You key this information in and you'll receive an estimate for that hospital. Remember that this is an estimate and not your bill. If the procedure changes, outside providers are used, additional services are provided, or any complications require further care, then your bill will have additional charges. And final charges will not be known until you receive your final bill. Now I'm big on saving money, but nobody wants to stay at the cheapest hotel in New Jersey, right? Never again. By that I mean there are more factors to consider than just cost when it comes to choosing your hospital. When making your final decision, consider these five factors. Number one, quality of care. Check out the hospital's website, do a little Googling. Have they received any awards? Do they specialize in the kind of work you're needing? Are they ranked on Becker's or other healthcare publications? Number two, location. Is this better hospital with the lower price worth driving 150 miles to go visit? Hey, maybe it is. Sometimes it may even be worth jumping on a plane and flying across the country for the right treatment at the right price at the right hospital with the right reputation, right? Number three, customer service. When a patient at that hospital encounters a problem, are they usually satisfied with the help that they receive? Remember that that next patient with a problem could be you. But if you don't have any personal experience at that facility and you don't know anyone who has, to learn about their customer service, you will have to turn to our fourth consideration, reviews. Now you can find reviews on Yelp, Google, healthgrades.com, Becker's Hospital Review, and even Facebook. But don't get spooked too easily. Keep in mind that people are much more likely to leave a review about a bad experience they had than a good one. So your ratios of good reviews to bad ones are always skewed. And lastly, number five, in or out of network. If you have insurance, you want to know if a hospital is in network or out of network as they'll have different pricing. Once you've figured out which is the right hospital for you, it's time to get scheduled and pre-registered. If you don't know about the importance of pre-registering, well, check out our video on that topic. Thanks for watching.